Vince Cleverly to the right of the picture and uh, Alan Davis to the left of the picture. Thanks for talking to FrankRoyan.tv. Together, you are the training angle of Team Cleverly. And uh, we've just watched uh, your son, uh, Vince, go through the motions, getting ready for the first defence of his Commonwealth title. Just first of all, specifically for this training camp, how have you found him? Um, I think things have gone better for this particular fight than the last one, to be honest. Um, and Nathan knows that he's got that belt now and the, these other boxers are going to be after him. And uh, they won that belt off him. So Nathan now has got to be prepared, you know, mm. for this. Alan, I know you've been with the, you know, Nathan and obviously Vince for a very long time. Just to explain to just the people watching uh, FrankMoran.tv who have met you both for the first time here, what's your role here in Team Cleverly? Well, uh, I was in there for many years amateur, so we've just carried on that uh, routine from there, really. Like, you know, we know each other well, and personally, like, and the, the pad work is is good. Vince was uh, nice enough to invite me back, and I think Nathan wanted me back as well. So the pad work's doing well. Vince, father and son teams are, are quite uh, special, aren't they? There's a spe there's a special link there, and some say it's positive, and some say it's negative. Um, Rest. Overall, what do you feel about sort of the father and son team when it comes to you and Nathan? Um, it can be very trying sometimes. There's no doubt about that. I think every father and son team has their arguments. I've been involved with a couple of father and son teams, and uh, I've seen it firsthand. But this is where Alan to come in handy. Mm. He goes referee. <laughs> so he separates me and Nathan. Up, yeah. no, no. I do upset Nathan sometimes because uh, I keep on pushing him. That's my job. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, he, he understands that. He, well, uh, what was it like when he came back to you? Because he was, was, in, with, was with Enzo Calzaghi for a while. Came back and said, look, Dad, I want to train with you and I want to train back here. Um, but there haven't been a lot of difference, really, because I've, I've always trained Nathan. I, I trained him particularly hard for the, um, the Quigley fight because Enzo was so busy down there. So um, we've done a little bit of training for the Quigley fight, and it paid dividends. So uh, I've always been behind Nathan, right, right, right from a, a school kid. Like Alan, you've said that obviously you were with Nathan when he was uh, in, in the amateurs. Yeah. Since he's come back and trained here, how <coughs> has he improved? Well, a couple of stone, he, he's heavier for a start. He's six foot three now, right? And, he, well, it's one hell of an improvement on him now. Right? Mm. You know, he's world class now, right? What about between the uh, Tony Oki fight and now, just in the short couple of months that he's had off, have you seen any specific improvements in him? Oh, yeah, the confidence is, is up now, right? So even, he, even more confidence than normal? Even more confident now. <laughs> and, uh, he's really strong now, like, he's stronger than he's ever been before. And he's hitting hard, really hard. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's just yeah. excellent. OK, we've got a first defence of the title coming up per... Uh, Vince, mm -hmm. how have you prepared your guys specifically? Because it's difficult when you have opponents come along. You don't know that much about them. But uh, the guy he's fighting is quite experienced. 19 fights. Yeah, he's won 19 fights. Um, he's only lost one. Um, I understand he's a, a short boy, which Nathan didn't meet a lot of short fighters anyway. He's, he's prepared for that. He's prepared if he meets a southpaw. It's all part and parcel of his training. Whatever guy he meets, if he could be six foot three, six foot four, he knows how to handle him. He meet, he'll meet this short boy you now on... Um, Friday, and he knows how to handle him. You know, he's an orthodox. He, he knows how to handle him. He's been trained well. Uh, if, he, if he's a switch hitter, he's prepared for that. Uh, no, no problem at all. Since Nathan's come back to you, what have you worked on specifically with him? Um, first and foremost, um, I think we developed strength because he won't have a lot of, uh, a lot of knockouts. And uh, what we've done is um, we give him a bit of weight training. And, uh, and naturally he's developed now into a proper light heavyweight. He's finding that out now. In mm -hmm. this particular fight, he's finding it harder to get him to the 12 stone 7 mark. And, uh, he's naturally going to get bigger as he gets older. And the stoppages will come. I promise, I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, do you think going into uh, this weekend, a team cleverly saying to Nathan, you can stop this guy here? No, I, I don't think we're going to say to stop it. We're just uh, going to go into the fight as a, a 12 rounder. You know, if it comes, it comes. It's a small unit you've got here, and I know that sometimes boxers actually like to have a lot of people around them, like to have an entourage or going on, but literally it's just the three of you, and I know you have the odd sparring partner coming in there. Do you like, do you prefer it like this, or would you like to have a few more boys down here, Vince? Um, uh, well, to be honest, uh, for Nathan's sake, I, I reckon it's beneficial just to have one-to-one, one-on-one training. We can specialise in different movements, different leg work, um, 
different shots. We've got more time to spend with them. Mm-hmm. And I think it's beneficial to Nathan. And uh, I think a lot of boys would benefit with the one-to-one training, to be honest. I know as a, as a, you know, as a father, you're going to be very proud of your son, but uh, Alan, for you as well, you've had him since, since an amateur. How proud are you when you see him now, and especially when he lift that Commonwealth belt just a couple of months ago? How proud were you? Yeah, I can't put it into words, really. Like, you know, I just can't put it into words. <laughs> how proud I am, really, of him. Like, you know, uh, he, he, was with, he, he was with me for the British but as uh, an amateur. I didn't want him to turn pro, but uh, he turned pro and I was wrong. He was right, I was wrong. <laughs> but, uh, well, very proud. Vince, do you think people underestimate your son? Yeah, I think that, um, he is a proper athlete. and um, <clears throat> I think it'll, it'll show in time in years to come, like, that, um, how good he is. Um, he wants to be the best in Ethan along with yet. He's got a lot of filling in to do. And I'm bulking up. and I would say in two or three years' time, he's ready to take on anybody in the world, any light heavyweight. And he's a smart boy as well, doing a pure math degree. Where does the brains come from? <clears throat> Not me. <laughs> exactly. No, could be the milkman. <laughs> he's Gent- pretty, gentlemen. He's pretty, he's pretty intelligent. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Okay. okay. okay.